Look at her go. <laughs> Surface tension. Capillary action. Now it has finally went to the bottom of the, the cup. And that is capillary action. This experiment, you need three fourths of a cup of water and two cups or bowls. Then you have to get some food coloring, drop it in, and then take a paper towel, twist it, put it in each end. And at the end, the water should go from this cup to this one. And this is capillary action. I'm going to show you how to do surface tension. First, you pour in the pepper into the water. Hi, I'm Matt. Here's an example of surface tension. The bowl is going to flow in the water because of the water surface tension. Now watch what happens when I add dish soap to the water. The boat zooms across because the soap breaks the water surface tension by weakening the water's hydrogen bonds. Mom, can I show you something? Sure. Watch. I'm going to make this water go into this cup without pouring it. Okay, that's interesting. Look, Mom, the water traveled. Wow, I see. That's because of capillary action. Good. Soon all the water will be in there. Wow, that's good. Surface tension and... Crunchy. It floats on the surface of the water. Surface tension. Here's a glass of water. As I add some pepper onto the top, it stays on top. Now, as we add dish soap. How many drops? One. One drop of dish soap. May it all go down. It goes down. 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 Yes, it did. It went down. Why? Because of surface tension. And you taught me that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have to say it. This is surface tension. Today I learned about capillary action, which occurs because water is sticky. This is due to cohesion. An example would be taking a glass of water filled with dye and sticking some celery into it and seeing the fluid and dye go up the stalk. Thank you.
This is an example of capillary action. This is an example of capillary action. Capillary action is when molecules of water go against the force of gravity. This occurs due to water stickiness. As you can see, the water rose from the full cup to the empty cup in this demonstration. Oh look, surface tension. I bet you $20 that I can get this water into this cup without touching it or pouring it. No way, I don't believe it. $20? You're yeah. on. Look, Mom, it moved from one glass to the other without touching. You should have known capillary action. Okay. Paper clips are supposed to sink in water, right? Correct. But I bet you I can make this paper clip right here float. How's that? Look. Wow, that is surface tension. You put a bunch of food drops into this cup of water and then mix it around and then put this paper towel into both cups. The paper towel absorbs this mixture and transfers it into this cup. Oh, that's capillary action. Surface tension. Wow, capillary action. And that's capillary action. Is that capillary action? Yes, yes it is. know what that is. That's surface tension. <laughs>